what's up gemini gang happy friday let me adjust the camera happy friday you guys um aka venus day aka the day of love okay so y'all i will try my best um not to show y'all um anything that even looks remotely nude <laughs> okay yesterday the video was restricted because of this deck so it makes me wonder if youtube is making some changes or whatnot but i've been using this deck since i started youtube two years ago i have and it was flagged because of the devil card in this deck you guys and i have the devil card in several probably hundreds of videos with no issues i have the same devil card in hundreds of thumbnails with no issues however the video yesterday was flagged for nudity for showing this card for literally like two seconds so um yeah y'all i'm gonna try to hang in there for you guys doing this youtube thing but it's getting a little aggravating so i would try my best y'all to not show you guys uh <laughs> any type of nudity okay <laughs> All Gemini placements take what resonates and leave the rest. Take it how it resonates with you in your situation, okay? Personal readings are in the description box, y'all. Hit those likes, hit those subscribes. Y'all are greatly appreciated, okay? So, this is going to be a you versus them, Gemini. So, let's see what's going on with you, too. Oh, well, then. Deception. <clears throat> and we have wedding here on the bottom. Y'all have to pardon me. I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> I had so much going on yesterday. I didn't even feel like uh, arguing with YouTube yesterday uh, about the video thing. But I may do it today. So the restriction may be lifted today. We'll see. So I can't even shuffle in the camera, y'all. Because if, if I'm showing literally in the other video, y'all, I'm just shuffling through the cards like this. And I'm just showing you guys what flipped out. I, the devil wasn't even like here. It's just, it's crazy. All right. So um, let's see what's going on. You versus them, Geminis. <clears throat> Deception comes out. And I did see the devil a lot while I was shuffling for you guys. So, so if I see the devil or the star or anything that's nude, I'll probably just put it face down or something like that. Okay. Well, <laughs> the three of swords. The tower. Well, Gemini's. Um... And I'm seeing the Eight of Swords on the bottom. Yikes. <sighs> wow. Okay. If you're new here, Geminis, this is your person's side. This is your side. Although, you could resonate with either side. Okay. And then it comes out. The Eight of Swords, yikes. What is going on with the person on your mind, Geminis? My goodness. Someone is in turmoil. I mean, oh man. Um, yeah, I, I don't even know a better way to put it. I believe this combination came out in another reading too. Um, Gemini's this the tower and the eight of swords but I feel like in that reading it was the other way around like the eight of swords was first and the tower was second so I feel like Gemini's yeah I feel like someone is hurt someone is heartbroken um it could be some past hurts for some of you like someone is, is healing from something from their past uh, but as far as with the false mask thing here, I feel like this person may not like show this or express this. The judgment here is on the bottom. So this gives me a vibe of this person is like wanting another chance or wanting to, excuse me, um, 
wanting to resurrect this uh situation gemini I, I feel like too for some of you this person is like wanting you to like contact them or talk to them um gemini's and, and you may not have Okay, so finally, all right, let me make sure you know nudity on here. <laughs> Three of Wands, ooh, Gemini's. Five of Pentacles. And then we have the Six of Cups here on the bottom. So, yeah, Gemini's, <coughs> some of you are moving on or moving forward. That's what I'm getting here. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Some of you may be moving on like despite um, feeling bad. Now, some of you, you may have like broke things off with this person or this person broke it off and you just let it be. Um, but it, it still hurt you. You know what I mean? Like I'm seeing a situation where you may have like broke, broke it off with someone for your own good. If that makes sense, even though you may miss them from time to time and you may think about them sometimes, I feel like you may have broke them off, broke things off with them or, you know, you've kind of separated yourself or whatever um, for your own good. Gemini's. Yeah, see, ooh, I'm seeing the Knight of Pentacles and the Lovers. So I'll take the Knight of Pentacles is on the top and I'm seeing the Lovers, of course, is your side. Uh, Gemini's the lovers is Gemini so Gemini's I feel like a lot of you guys are now like more money focused now you're kind of focused on yourself you're not too much worried about uh, I won't say you're not worried about this person some of you are um, you know some of you would like to have a connection uh, of some sort but I feel like you don't feel like that's possible for whatever reason um, Gemini's so take that how it resonates. You you may feel like you were, you know, left out in the cold by them and they feel left out in the cold by you. I'm just seeing a lot of energy of um like lack and loss. That's that's kind of what I'm feeling like, Gemini's. Lack and loss energy. Pentacles. Ooh, the Wheel of Fortune and the King of Wands. Child. I'm seeing the Four Cups here on the bottom. So let me say this, Gemini's. Someone is definitely hurt. Really, really hurt. Now I'll say this, though. I feel like something regarding this connection or something that you did, Gemini's, spark some type of change with this person gemini's now it could be a positive one okay since we're seeing the wheel of fortune here um i feel like someone too is like building their confidence someone needs to get their confidence up or they are because we're going from the eight of swords to the king of wands so i feel like someone is um wanting to build their confidence but this could also be gemini's Someone may be concerned that you have moved on um, or you are moving on, Gemini's, or, or you are entertaining someone else, uh, Gemini's, or I feel like I get like a fear of rejection too <clears throat> with the four of cups are on the bottom. So take that how it resonates with you, Gemini's, but I'm seeing like a massive change with this person and I feel like it is in, in heartbreak will change you for sure. Uh, that's the vibe I'm getting here. Like this person, their heart's broken. Uh, even though they may not express that, they may not show that, um, they may not tell you that. But I feel like this this person is is really hurt, and I feel like their hurt has kind of triggered some type of change in them. The Seven of Cups, yeah. Ooh, Gemini's. I'm seeing the hangman on the bottom. Hmm. 
<laughs> the world, yes. Mm -hmm. Let me make sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. King of Swords. So, and I'm seeing the Three of Pentacles here on the bottom. So, yeah, some of you may be exploring your options now. Like, I feel like some of you guys may want to see what else is out there. I'm just being honest. Um, yeah, some of you may want to see what else is out there. I feel like you, Geminis, are also going through some type of renewal or some type of healing from this connection, um, Geminis. And regardless of who broke things off, I feel like you are more so in this energy of, um, I don't want to say you're not as invested to fix it, but I do feel like you are kind of contemplating on um, moving on or, or you're already in that space. Like you're already like, I want to see what else is out there. <clears throat> I want to date other people. You know, or even if it's not about dating other people, but, you know, I want to be by myself for a little bit, uh, Gemini's, and I feel like this person is more so wanting to, like, come back together. So, take that how it resonates with you, uh, Gemini's, but I feel like some of you guys, you may be open to being friends with this person, Gemini's. You'll be open to that. But I do see something changing for you, uh, Gemini's. It's a huge change on both of you. I feel like a lot, a lot of you guys may have may feel like you are um, that this cycle is complete, um, Gemini's. A lot of you may feel like this is complete, and you it's time for you to move forward. Um, I'm not really seeing anything yet, uh, Gemini's, except for the world. Um, that would indicate that you are wanting to reconcile with this person. Now, that it could be today. Again, you know, I do readings every day. It could just be today's energy, all right? Because you might want them back tomorrow. <laughs> but I'm not really seeing anything that would indicate that, um, Gemini. So, we'll see, though. We'll see. We still got a little bit left in the reading. Oh my goodness, oh gosh, Gemini's, this person feels like you have moved on. Five of Swords, yep. The Strength card, mm-hmm. King of Pentacles, and the Magician, yep. This person feels like you've moved on. Yep. Wow. And they don't like it at all, Gemini's. They don't like it at all. Whatever you did or said to them, um, Gemini's, I feel like they um, they took it to heart. And I feel like if you said anything to them as far as what they needed to change or, you know, what you didn't like about them or whatever, I feel like they listen to what you say, uh, Gemini's. Again, it may not seem like that. It may not seem that they... Take what you say to heart. It may not seem like they are listening to what, what you're saying, but they do. They do pay attention, um, Gemini's. And I also get a vibe, too, that this person may have said something to you that they don't mean. And I feel like they may do that often. Like, this person often says things to you that they don't mean, and then it comes back to bite them in the ass. Because it's only so much a person is going to deal with or put up with, um, Gemini's. And I feel like you may have, you may be going through um, the same thing with this person. Because this person, I feel like, sometimes get caught in a loop. And they kind of make, like, the same mistakes over and over and over again. Um, and I feel like you're kind of at a space where you're, you're kind of detaching from it all, uh, Gemini's. And this person can feel that. They can feel that you are detaching. Um, and I feel like that is what's sparking change in this person. Uh, now, if this could easily be the King of Wands and King of Pentacles could easily be, um, you know, them showing up as them. But, you know, it's kind of throwing me off. It's a Three of Swords up here. 
So it's like this person could be concerned about you having someone else. However, I don't feel like they're going to care. It's almost as if, and I picked this song up before for you guys. That song by, um, it was an artist by Diddy. I can't think of the name. But in the song, he's saying, I don't want to know. I don't want to know if you're playing me. Keep it on the low. That's that's kind of what I'm getting. Especially with this Eight of Swords here. And see how she's blindfolded? It's like he, he or she doesn't want to know if you have found somebody else or if you've been with somebody else and y'all separation or whatever. It's like they're, they're choosing to remain blind to what you have going on, Gemini's. They're choosing to not see it. Um... You know, even though it bothers them a lot, a whole lot. And I feel like this person didn't expect to be as hurt uh, as they are. Now, for others of you, I feel like you two have been separated for quite some time. And it's like the pain is like just now hitting them, like after all this time. You know, it could have been a couple of months ago y'all stopped talking. And then, you know, of course they were hurt at the time, but they kind of kept busy, which a lot of people do that. And I feel like now all the pain is like kind of hitting them because they didn't deal with it then. They just kind of, you know, worked it off or drunk it off or partied off or whatever. And so now they don't have any vices or the vices aren't working anymore. So now all the pain is hitting them at one time, um, Gemini's. But I feel like the pain that they're going through is going to spark some type of change with them, um, Gemini's. And it was definitely a lesson that this person needed to learn. Oh, there it is again. <laughs> the lovers, yes. And we're seeing judgment again. Now, and then we're seeing the page of pentacles. So this is interesting. So I feel like Gemini's, and that's why I like to wait till I get to the bottom. I feel like some of you guys may end up giving this person another chance. Yep, with the lovers and the judgment here. Mm hmm. Some of you will be open to give this person another chance. Now, for others of you, like I said, I feel like it would be as a friendship. But for others of you, it's going to be based on a, a love situation. It's going to be, you know, you two decide to reconcile or whatever the case may be, Gemini's. But I feel like it's not going to be before you go through this phase of, you know, wanting to see what else is out there. You're going through this phase of not really being sure what you want to do with this person. Um, because I feel like you're kind of tired of the same thing from them. Like the same energy, you know, the same, you know, them doing the same thing over and over. Because I'm kind of seeing that this person does make the same mistakes over and over again. And I feel like they're, they're becoming aware of it. And I feel like some things about their personality, they're starting to see. And I feel like they don't like what they see. Um... Gemini's. I feel like they they are starting to see that um, you know they're they're really not they're not very easy to deal with. And then seeing the Page of Pentacles on your side, you know, as well as their side, again could be a mirroring situation, or it could just be Spirit telling me that with this Page of Pentacles here, you're willing to give this person another chance. Yeah. But I feel like it's going to be after you see some type of change with this person, some type of growth with this person. Because I feel like you've grown, Gemini. You've evolved. And I feel like a lot of you guys are getting to a space where you know what you want um, or you're learning what you want. So you're getting a lot more self-assured, self-aware. Um, and this person is following suit, but like in their own pace, uh, Gemini's. <clears throat> oh gosh hmm. the two of pentacles and then I'm seeing the knight of pentacles as well so yeah Gemini's some of you may be um, dibble and dabbling <laughs> you know nothing I don't feel like there's anything wrong with that you know especially if y'all are on a break or y'all are separated or whatever or it could just be you have managed to kind of do what they were doing at first and like using other things to like occupy your time or you are dating and seeing what else is out there um gemini's so i feel like overall this person is going to want to talk 
I feel like they're going to want to um, communicate. Let me get one more. Because I got to know. Yeah, that's what I thought. Six of Cups. So I pulled this as their next, as the person on your mind's next actions, Gemini's. Definitely a reunion on this on this person's part. Definitely a reunion, uh, Gemini's. Four of Pentacles on the bottom. Yeah, they can't let you go. Now they thought they could. I feel like for a lot of you, if you are separated from this person or y'all broke up, that's not going to resonate with all of you. If you broke up with this person, I feel like at first they were like, you know what, if I just work and I just focus on me and I just put my mind on this and this and this, I'm going to get over Gemini. I'm not even going to trip. But then the vices that they dove into, you know, trying to get over you, they're no longer working. So the pain is all hitting them all at once. So it could be why I'm seeing like the same energy for the, for the last few readings regarding the person on your mind, Gemini's. Because all the pain that they ignored is now is crumbling down on them now. Whereas you, you Gemini, you may have dealt with your shit a lot better. Um, or you've already dealt with a lot of it. They haven't dealt with any of it. So now it's all crumbling down on them. <sighs> Alright, let me get a couple of handwritten. I'm sorry I pushed you away. Yeah, I told you this person is very becoming very aware of their ways. Um, Gemini's. They're becoming very aware of their ways. I'm ready to open up. Mm-hmm. I feel like they know. Who knows by music soul child? I want to do things right this this time. Yeah, this person is they know. I love you more than you realize. Yeah, I feel like that's the deception. This person never really opened up. They never really told you, like, how they felt. They never showed you. So, you know, how are you supposed to know? DFNU by LMA. Aww. Love that song. <laughs> I want to reach out, but I don't know what to say. I told you, Gemini's. They'll find it. Because, like I said, they're not going to let this go. I feel like for some of you, it might be, I miss you. They may say, I miss you. Six of Cups, give me I miss you vibes. Lions, Tigers, Bears by Jasmine Sullivan. Thank you for always being there. Yeah, I'm telling you. They get hit like a ton of bricks now. <laughs> Too Long by Jacob Lattimore. I told you in another reading that this song is literally about moving on. Like, you know, the person that you want finding someone else. I told you this person feels like you may have found someone else. They're not ready to accept it, though. Like I said, they turned a blind eye to it. Or they're going to act like it doesn't exist. So be mindful of that, uh, Gemini's. Your lips look so kissable. Let me get one more. Karma is kicking my ass. Didn't I tell you? <laughs> All right, Gemini's. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, y'all. Thank you for watching. Peace out.